Do you want to lose weight? Well, you need to reduce your energy intake. There's this concept, calories in, calories out, which means everything you don't burn during the day, your body stores in its fat cells. So yes, you can eat as healthy as you want. If you overeat on energy, you will gain weight. The question is, why do you overeat on energy? There are so many reasons, and one could be that your diet is out of balance. If your diet is out of balance, your body doesn't allow you to cut on the food you eat. I'm Lisa, and I want to make overweight that is caused by an unbalanced diet history. But what do we want to balance? What is it that we balance? What are the two endpoints on our scale? Why do you have to balance your diet? In order to be slim and healthy, you have to balance the intake of energy and nutrients during one day. Let's imagine your body puts the energy in an energy bucket and the nutrients in a nutrient bucket once you consume food. That's an energy bucket. One contains the necessary amount of kilocalories for one day. One energy bucket a day is necessary to survive. If you eat less, you become underweight. And you're healthy and slim if you eat one energy bucket a day. That's a nutrient bucket. One contains all necessary nutrients the body needs for one day. One nutrient bucket a day is necessary to survive. If you eat less, you have nutrient deficiency. And you're healthy if you eat one nutrient bucket a day. A thin and healthy person would only eat one energy bucket and one nutrient bucket during the day. The food that person eats is balanced, so the intake of nutrients and energy is balanced as well. A sumo wrestler makes the conscious decision to eat more than one bucket because he wants to gain weight. But at the same time, his diet is balanced because the food he eats is balanced. An overweight person eats unbalanced food, so energy and nutrient intake is out of balance. The overweight is only the result of the high energy intake. Although a lot of overweight people kind of know what they're doing wrong, they don't make the conscious decision to eat that much calories. So why do overweight people so severely overeat on that unbalanced food. Your body needs one energy bucket and one nutrient bucket during the day to survive. And the body makes sure that it gets it, no matter what. Your body intuitively fills up at least one energy bucket and one nutrient bucket. And if that isn't done, the body forces you to eat by initiating cravings. Have you ever wondered why you feel the overwhelming desire to eat even though you had a high amount of food during the day? The conscious decision you make is what you eat, but your body dictates you how much. A healthy, balanced diet contains a perfect ratio of energy and nutrients. Let's call them energy balls and nutrient balls. That's what the healthy, slim person and the sumo wrestler eat. When they eat one energy ball, they also eat one nutrient ball. It's important to say that we're talking about the diet, not just one food. Some food may contain more energy and others more nutrients. An unhealthy, unbalanced diet contains a lot more energy balls than nutrient balls. One nutrient ball is accompanied by five energy balls. In an unhealthy diet, all food contains a very tiny amount of nutrients. This means by the time you fill one nutrient bucket, you already filled five energy buckets. And that's the cause of overweight for many people. You actually have no choice. If you eat an unbalanced diet, you must become overweight in order to survive. Because in an unbalanced diet, whenever you eat one nutrient ball, you eat five energy balls with it. 
So your energy buckets are filled up very quickly and you easily can fill up five of them, whereas your nutrient bucket gets hardly filled by the end of the day. The fascinating and frustrating part is that your body has no systems to discard the overconsumption on energy. Every extra kilocalorie is going to be stored if not used for the daily activities. If you want to be slim, you have to make sure your diet is balanced. If your overweight is caused by an unbalanced diet and you want to be slim, you actually have to change your whole diet. Because your body will never let you eat less of the unbalanced, unhealthy, ultra-high processed food. Make the conscious decision to eat a healthy, balanced diet and you make overweight history. You now know why it is so important to balance your diet. But why is it so difficult to eat enough healthy, balanced food? Because only the convenient high processed food you can pull open, put in the microwave, pan or oven and eat. That food has a description on the back on how to prepare and how to arrange it. A carrot doesn't come with that. Everything you have to do with a vegetable, you have to know by heart if you want to make a quick decision on what you're going to eat within 30 minutes. So, I, as a nutritionist, created this course called Wisdom of Food Providing that teaches you exactly that. How to invest no overwhelming thinking and planning into cooking, but use healthy ingredients instead of convenient junk food. You may be already sensed it. In order to eat more vegetables, you have to cook consistently with a high variety. And I know what you're thinking now, and I know this upcoming feeling in your gut of frustration and overwhelm and stress so, so well. When we cook once or twice a day, cooking is no longer fun. It's a chore. It's labor. It's annoying. Some of us even can't bother to cook. And searching the internet of cookbooks for recipes is a nightmare. At the same time, we want to eat healthy because we want to be healthy, slim and age gracefully. I'm a nutritionist and I hate to look for new recipes because I'm not into cooking. I just do it because I like to eat good quality and healthy food. We usually think in recipes when we decide what to cook for one meal. That approach limits and frustrates us. So, of course, a lot of people go the easy road and choose convenient, ultra-high processed, unhealthy food. In Wisdom of Food Providing, you learn how to think in a balanced food concept within you can embrace your own taste and food preferences. So you not just only always eat healthy wherever you are, you also always eat what you like. Only by looking at a whole dish you can decide whether a food is healthy or not. A broccoli per se is neither healthy nor unhealthy, because eating only broccoli is just as unhealthy as eating just chocolate. Only in combination with other food, and only in the right amount, a broccoli is healthy, just like the chocolate. In Wisdom of Food Providing, I teach you the right combinations, the right amounts, and how often you should eat something. It is based on the planetary health diet and the Mediterranean diet. In my opinion, their plate and pyramids are too complicated because they include the food for one day. But you eat more than once a day, so your plate looks nothing like the plate in the planetary health diet or the pyramid in the Mediterranean diet. My concept, and I call it the Lamar diet, only shows you the food for lunch or dinner. So the plate in my concept looks just like the plate you're actually eating. But I also teach you about breakfast and snacks. And that knowledge is only the beginning. Usually that's where the most other nutritionists and doctors stop. They teach you their diet and might hand you a cookbook. But for the everyday life, I find a cookbook horrible and you could chase me with it. In Wisdom of Food Providing, I teach you how to create a meal without following a recipe. That's why the course is called Wisdom of Food Providing and not just the Lamar diet. 
you learn what a healthy diet looks like and how to put it on the table. Wisdom of Food Providing is for people like you, people who understand that for every change they want in life, they have to provoke the change themselves. It doesn't matter how much you want something if you don't move actively towards that goal. If you want to be slim and don't start to eat balanced, you are never going to be slim. Like I explained to you, your body won't let you. If you're not willing to change, wisdom of food providing is not for you. I have a vision. I want to help to make overweight that is caused by an unbalanced diet history. Because the beauty of that problem is, once you tackle it, you address two major crises our society faces these days. If you reduce your body weight, you get in a healthy shape. Let's face it, obesity itself is not just a risk factor for diseases. It is a disease itself. But unlike cancer or a virus infection, it's nothing that just happens to you. You overeat on energy and as a result, you get overweight. And the reverse conclusion is, if you don't overeat on energy, you get slim. I already explained to you why you might feel like you can't control your energy intake, but that doesn't make it a determinant problem, like cancer or a virus infection. You can cure this disease of overweight by yourself and forever. And if you balance your diet, you eat less of the food that comes from harmful agriculture that damages our planet severely. If you eat balanced, you can choose more food from regenerative agriculture and therefore you can have an impact on the climate crisis. So you can do something for your own health, your longevity, and at the same time you can have an impact on the climate crisis. That is huge and that's why I'm so passionate to help people to eat a balanced diet. Let's make overweight history. So. Click the link under this video and start your balanced diet today.